thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests, like the civil service exam of Katla, I feel sad, and all of those things. Now, this video in particular can actually help you whether you're taking the civil service exam or any other aptitude test, including science high school exams, pati college entrance exams, sometimes even yung work application exams. And the reason why I'm posting this actually is because one of you guys requested nagawin ko tong part ng series ko on converting units. Today is our Math Mondays video on converting units. So every Monday, I post at least one new video lesson on math, at least in yung goal. And today, we're going to talk about converting units of yung money or currency. So, ni request ng someone kasi nag apply daw siya sa isang money transfer na company and kasama sa, uh, sa intake exam or para makapasa ka sa exam, para makapasa ka sa company na yun, is you have to learn how to convert units. So, the figure out ko kasi da, na I already talked about yung converting units of uh, length, units of time, Ang hindi ko pa na pala na ituro sa inyo kung paano mag-convert ng units when it comes to money or currency. So, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, if you're not yet subscribed and if you don't want to miss any of the lessons that I post out, you can click yung subscribe button and uh, hit the bell icon para malaman niyo as soon as the new post is ready for you guys. So in order for me to discuss this better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so today we're going to talk about converting units, uh, specifically yung converting currency. So when we're talking about changing one denominator, denomination to another denomination. Ito yung gagamitin nating technique. Alright? Now, let's start with the essentials first. And uh, if you haven't seen my video series on converting units, panoorin nyo muna yun. Kasi we're going to use the same uh, technique that I use there, yung cancellation, para masagutan ito. Okay? That way, kasi hindi ka na magsusolve ng paisa-isa, bawat level. So, you can just write the entire thing in one equation, tas solve it across. Okay? Now, um, ito yung mga kailangan yung malaman bago ka magsimula mag-solve ng problem. The first thing is, ano yung current currency? Ano ang uh, kanyang denomination ngayon? So, if naka-dollar siya ngayon, naka-peso siya ngayon, re uh, real or anything else, you have to know kung ano yung current currency. The next thing you have to know is yung conversion or exchange rate. So, for example, for every $1, magkano siya in peso? For every peso, magkano siya in dollar? Okay? Now, it doesn't really matter that much kung alin side ang one. You can derive each of them naman out of yung isa. Okay? Pero you have to know at least yung mga na-mention na currency or how at least yung mga kailangan mong daanan para makuha mo yung currency. I'll show you that later. Next, you have to know yung new currency or saan mo siya kino-convert. Okay? So, again, ano siya ngayon? Ano yung exchange rate? And ano yung gusto mo siyang maging? So, for example, you have uh, $100 and then you have you want to convert it into peso. You have to know kung ano yung conversion rate and then kung ano yung magiging bago niyang currency. Okay? Now, again, we're going to use yung canceling ng units na technique that we talked about before. So, if you haven't seen that or you're not familiar with this term, go ahead and watch that first. Uh, in this sample problem, so I have to convert 10 US dollars to Philippine peso. Okay, so again, ito, US dollars, USD, ito, PHP, Philippine peso. Now, uh, pagdating sa exam, hindi naman na masyado nagmamatter kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng mga yan. You just need to know yung mga sikat. So, ito, I'm using the US dollar, tapos yung PHP is Philippine peso, kasi ito yung mga kilala. Nasa problem naman in itself yan, at saka usually kung ano yung ibibigay naman kasi nila sa inyo yung exchange rate yung nagagamitin nyo sa problem if in case may gantong lalabas. Kaya, all you need to know is kung ano yung pinaka-equal niya. So, in this case, 1 US dollar is equal to 53.08 Philippine pesos. Okay? So, medyo specific tayo dyan. I actually googled kung magkano yung exchange rate. Ngayong nire-record ko tong video neto. So, again, that can change every day naman. And, uh, yun, hopefully <laughs> bumaba, no? Para <laughs> maging okay naman. Anyway, that's another story for another time. This is what we have right now. So, we're going to start with what you have, okay, like we talked about before, what you have and then yung gusto mong maging at yung exchange rate. Now, to, in order to cancel itong mga to, itong US dollar at maging Philippine peso siya, kasi kinakancel din natin yung units, all you have to do is to make sure na yung US dollars ay ilalagay mo siya sa ilalim nung multiply mo, okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Again, yung 10 US dollars, dapat yung USD na gusto mong makancel, yung USD na nakalagay sa exchange rate, yung ilalagay mo sa ilalim. So, dito sa ilalim yung 1 US dollar, sa taas, 53.08 Philippine pesos. Saan mo kinuha to? Ito yan, yung exchange rate. Yan siya. So, again, ano yung ngayon? Ano yung gusto mong uh, gamitin exchange rate, which is this? Ilalagay mo siya dito sa susunod. And kung ano yung gusto mong maging bago. Now, ang gusto natin na maiwan is Philippine peso. Now, kahit just looking at the units, you would see, kung may USD dito sa taas, may USD sa ilalim, ikakancel ko lang siya. Again, canceling units. 
kapag naiwan kayo dito, panorin nyo na lang yung lesson. Paulit-ulit ko sila sabi, ha? Hindi naman dahil pinapromote ko yung video, but kasi ka, baka maiwan kayo doon sa discussion. Yun lang din yung ibig sabihin nun. So, in the case ng length, centimeter doon, sa taas, centimeter sa baba, pwede mo i-cancel. It's the same concept. Na kung kunyari ang binigay ay Philippine Peso, i-convert mo siya into US Dollars, eh di ilagay mo na lang dito sa ilalim yung PHP. Again, ang magde-decide sa pwestuhan nila ay yung kung ano yung gusto mong i-cancel. Kung gusto mong i-cancel yung USD, yung USD ang ilalagay mo sa ilalim. So, technically, makakancel na yan. Maiiwan ka na ngayon, ang unit mo magiging Philippine Peso, which is yung goal. Diba? Yun yung gusto mong mangyari. Now, what do we have to do? Imumultiply mo lang siya. So, 10 times 53.08. So, again, dahil magmultiply sa 10, you can just move the decimal place na isang beses. The answer is 530 okay, point eight Philippine pesos. That becomes your answer. Again, kasi kinakancel mo lang, yun ang goal natin to cancel all the units. Now, this is a very simple problem. Paano kapag marami yung mga dadaanan? Now, this one right here, we have another problem, pero mas complicated na siya. Kasi nagsimula ka sa AED or uh, dirham, gusto mo maging PHP or peso. Pero kung nanonotice ninyo dito sa conversion rate natin, walang diretsyong conversion from AED to PHP. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya isang step lang. Okay, now, if you know yung, yung uh, canceling ng units, madali na to kasi kaya mo isulat yung formula ng isang across lang. Again, ang gagawin mo ngayon, magkakaroon ka ng battle plan. In order for me na maging PHP yung AED, ang kailangan kong gawin ay, yung AED, gagawin ko muna siyang USD, at kapag USD na siya, pwede ko na siyang gawing PHP. So, yun yung iyong battle plan ngayon. Meron ka ng dadaanan. Yun ang pinakagol, eh. magkaroon ka ng dadaanan para makarating ka doon sa papuntahan na currency. So, yung iyong 4,000 AED, ang gagawin mo, again, gusto mo siya makancel, makancel mo na yung AED. So, yung AED, lalagay ko sa ilalim. Okay? It would look like that. So, para makancel yung AED sa taas, AED ang ilalagay ko sa ilalim. At yung USD, dahil hindi naman yun ang final answer na gusto ko, ikakancel ko rin siya. So, ibig sabihin, ilalagay ko din yung USD na to sa ilalim naman nung kasunod, para makancel din siya. May iwanan ako ngayon ng... PHP. So, ang mangyari dyan, again, cancel yung unit na to, cancel doon, kasi pareho sila. Cancel yon, cancel yon. May iwan ka na sa PHP, which is yung goal naman natin to start with. Okay? So, yung 4,000 AED, divide mo siya sa 4, kasi nasa ilalim yung 4. Okay? Parang basically times 1 fourth or divided by 4. So, magiging 1,000 na lang siya. 1,000. Tapos, times 53.08. Again, we're just going to move the decimal place. 1, 2, 3, sa kung gano'ng karami yung 0, para madali. Basically, minultiply lang yan, ha? Ang ginawa lang natin, kasi mas madali kung imumove mo lang yung decimal place sa kung ilan yung dami ng 0. So, the answer here would be 53,080. So, now that we have the concept nailed down, you're going to have to solve a question ng ikaw lang mag-isa. So, um, this is a sample problem that I'm going to give you. This is different from the quick quiz that I'll link to at the end of this video. Pero parang Patikim lang muna siya. We have the currency exchange table right here. You're going to use this to solve the question that will flash on the screen. So if you don't have your pen and paper ready, go ahead and grab that muna. I-pause nyo muna yung video para masagutan nyo to. I'll give you three minutes for this problem kasi medyo malayo yung dadaanan mo o bago ka makarating dun sa tamang sagot. And uh, again, if you watch until the end of the video, there will be a link to the quick quiz on this topic. So mas maganda kung matutryin nyo talaga siya by yourself. Okay? So now that you have that, again, you'll have three minutes for this um problem and your timer starts now.
Alright, so let's see how you did. Okay, so uh, we have 1 AED is equal to 0.25 USD. 1 AED is one, 14 pe pesos. And then you, 1 peso mo is 21 Korean won. Okay, now the question is this. Using the currency exchange table, convert daw yung 250 US dollars into Korean won. Now, again, game plan muna tayo. Saan tayo dadaan? So, nagsimula ka sa USD. Dahil ang meron nakatapat si USD ay AED. Ang gagawin mo, pupunta ka sa AED. Tapos yung AED, pwede mo siyang gawing peso. Kasi dito nakalagay AED is 2 peso. At yung peso naman, pwede mo siyang gawing Korean won. Kasi, ayan, meron ka 1 PHP is equal to 21 Korean won. So, yun yung pinaka plan of attack natin ngayon. So, again, you'll start with this. 250. Yun yung first na hinahanap natin. Next, Ano ba yung may equivalent ang USD? Ang may equivalent ang USD ay AED. So, i-multiply ko siya. Ang lalagay ko sa ilalim, again, para makansal yung USD, ay eh, yung USD, which is 0.25 USD. Tapos, you have 1 AED sa taas. Okay? And then, makakansal na tong unit na to. Now that you have AED, again, hindi pa yan ang final answer kasi KRW yung hinahanap natin. So, make sure na nasa ilalim dun sa susunod ay yung AED. At ang meron tayo ay AED to PHP. So, 1 AED is equal to 14 na PHP. Ito yan. Okay? Diyan siya galing. Okay? Which will cancel yung AED. Ngayon, PHP na yung kalalabasan. Ang gusto mo maging KRW siya. So, ilalagay mo yung PHP sa ilalim, sa huli, at sa taas mo yun na ilalagay yung KRW. Makakancel ngayon yung PHP, matitira yung KRW. Yan na yung final na unit. So, kompleto na yung ating journey. Nagsimula ka sa USD, magiging KRW. So, all you have to do is to solve it like that. Okay, so 250 muna tayo divided by 0.25. Okay, uh, again, dito na papasok yung pagdating sa exams, lalo na kung ang work application exam yan or sa kahit anong aptitude exam that you're going to take. Ano na yan, ang uh, concept na yan ay pabilisan. Okay, sa isang exams, bawal ang calculator like sa civil service, bawal. So you have to make sure that you also know how to compute manually. So in 250 divided by 0.25, that is going to give you 1,000. Okay, so sa 1,000 na siya ngayon, tapos makita nyo times 14 kasi nasa taas yung 14. So yung by this level, magiging, so yung 1,000 times uh, 14, magiging 14,000 siya. Okay, kasi uh, imuno, minumultiply mo lang siya, no? Uh, across lang. Okay, so again, 250 divided by 25, which will give you 1,000, tapos 1,000 times 14 kasi magkasame na level na lang siya. And then, hindi ka pa ta doon tapos, itatimes mo naman siya ngayon sa 21, which will give you 294,000 KRW. Yan yung magiging final na answer mo. Before, we already talked about it. Kung merong mga pwede kang i-cancel dyan, pwede ka pang mag-cancel. Pero in this case, wala naman masyado, kaya dire-diretso na rin natin sila. So again, kung merong mga common na factor yung mga baba at taas ng any pair dyan, pwede ka pang mag-cancel. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And if you stay until the end of the video, you'll have access to the quick quiz that I have. Just look out for the thumbnail sa dulo ng video na ito. Click on that para makuha niyo yung early access to the free quick quiz. If you're not yet subscribed, again, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon para hindi niyo mamiss yung mga susunod na content. And if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information on the upcoming live review events. Because I'm going to be traveling again next year. The online review program, if I can go to you, that's the best option, lalo na kung nagtatrabaho kayo. And if you want yung mga copy ng mga review uh, materials that I put out there. So thanks guys for watching. Never stop learning. Aja-aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.